for the West Virginia Mountaineers in their uniforms and the red for Western Kentucky. And we are set for the first title game in the key offensively on the block. That's Carson Williams, but that's Culver over him. Bassey has the rebound, and he all played in that game two years ago against West Virginia. The Tops won that game 63-57, and Charles Bassey in just his future Hall of Fame career. Yeah, I love Huggy, man. He comes on a win. This isn't like he was at Kansas, North Carolina. Nowhere. We took him to the Final Four in 92, and then Kansas State. Now here at West Virginia, he's elevated this program big time. Little high-low action. Oscar Shibwe coming off an 11-point, 16-rebound effort against VCU. Turns 21 years old today. And Bassey answers at the other end. You can't be in no man's land against West Virginia. There's that back screen again. Nice look from Kenny Cooper. Has to protect against the up screen. He didn't do it second time in a row. This time they made the layup. Here's Emmett Matthews rises up and knocks down his first jumper. And that's Messi, if I'm a, if I'm an NBA team, I got to get serious about him. Now Culver working on Carson Williams. Out to McBride for three. Got it. A bad decision, McBride made him pay. So now with Bassey and Shibwe on the bench, Dan, how does that change things for both of these Well, clubs? Williams, the kid with the ball 22, it will eventually, during this, this sequence, get on the post. There he goes to the rim. That's going to have to be. He's got a lot of YMCA game in him, doesn't he? Let me tell you something. He's big and strong and just comfortable playing around and being physical. He's matched up on Culver, but it's Gabo Saboyan, ranked 15th in the country. And we've seen a number of top 20 teams go down already in this first week of college basketball. You know, you asked me what they're going to do here without Bassey. Anderson, who just got the layup there, and he's been terrific in this tournament. 26 opening night, 16 yesterday. Here's McNeil. They're really going to rely on his three-point shooting this season. But it's Matthews who has alma mater, West Virginia, to the Final Four back in 2010. He's the sixth winningest coach all time in NCAA history. Oh, nice. Nice seed. But it's a race by McBride and a great follow by Hobby. He's long, he's athletic, and he looks like he has a good touch. He just doesn't have his legs under him quite yet. Speaking of highly touted freshman, number 20 in red, that's Davion McKnight lit up this gym in the quarterfinals for Western Kentucky. He's seeing his first action. Rich, opening night, best player on the court. Was the Jordan Rawls off the mark, another strong follow. It's for number two. He weighed the tip, and let's see if he can go get a bucket. Can't get it over the front. Cottrell not shy. The follow by Gabe Osaboy. Came in preparation for this. Williams was a guy that... Davion McKnight takes it away, and the freshman comes up the left side. Here's the sniper, and he's got it. Luke in the game. Hollingsworth's played more minutes in his first three years at Western Kentucky than anybody in program history. Great, Great look from Williams to McKnight. The inbounder is wide open. Culver, mismatch against Frampton, and he takes advantage. Derek Culver showing. Jordan McCabe, a starter last year for Bob Huggins at the point, is back in there. Number five in gold. Matthews. Gets fouled for his efforts in West. Very tough. Now it's Emmett Matthews at the line. Texas Tech. Yeah, he he is what you would just. A high expectation for Kenny Cooper and his leadership coming into this year. Now he's looking for a pass. He finds it with Josh Anderson. And An Here's Cooper. Left hand, the bump, and the bucket. <laughs> I don't know. Little back cut right here. Great move by Anderson, and you see the athletic ability. It's fantastic. And then Cooper to his left hand right here. He's gonna duck in. I don't know, man. That's and now stuff. Derek Culver finds himself on the bow trouble. And how about Western Kentucky? Talk about playing to your strengths, Dan. 18 of their 24 points have been scored in the paint. That's what they do. They drive it. They back cut it. They get to the foul line. It's really a well-coached team. Oh, Saboyan 
an offensive explosion for Gabe Osaboyan. Huggins put out there all season long. Tavion Hollingsworth off the mark. Here comes McCabe. McNeil lost the handle but got fouled. Play people, who cares? And they got some good. Makes it out to be woe is me about me in the season. Well, good That's not though. too shabby. Woo. And they'll take on this West Virginia team next year. Talk about play anyone, next anywhere. Week. Yeah, next, next week. Yeah, next week. Yeah. How about that? In the Jimmy V Classic, follow slam by Carson Williams. Really fun first half of championship basketball here from Sioux Falls. Here's McNeil. Aggressive. The follow, no good. Cottrell can't handle it, and it's ripped away by Davion McKnight. A former stop on the Seth Greenberg coaching tour got beat by the Dons. Greatest nickname in college basketball. And that West Coast Conference is going to be a little bit tougher than it normally is in terms of depth. Obviously, there's always going to be Gonzaga. As you see, Miles McBride knock it down for five points. EYU head coach Mark Pope has that team going in the right direction. And you see, San Francisco is going to be a tough out. Uh, you know what? San Francisco was up all game. I mean, they were, you know, what was it, seven points with like a minute and a half to go? West or Virginia made a heck of a comeback. Hollings had a tough test from Jim Christian's Eagles. And then they had to take care of a top 20 team in Bobby Hurley's Arizona State Sun Devils. So. A good couple of games for Jay Wright, and they're going to stick around in Bubbleville. They're going to play Virginia Tech. Smart. It was a nice cut. Anderson. Nice. A little scissors cut. West Virginia got on the middle up screen. They're not taking away the basket. A this high low. point lead now by the toppers, and that feels like a 30-point lead in this game. There have been 10 lead changes. Able guy. He's, yeah. uh, he looks to me like the kind of guy that's coming in to energize you, whether it's offensively, defensively. Right. His fuse gets lit pretty quickly. Here's McKnight. How quick are these drives? West Virginia on their heels. Drive and kick, and Hollingsworth paid. And McNeil takes it himself. Yeah, that was not. A minute to go in the first half. Tops with the ball and the lead by two. Five on the shot clock. Inside, Williams. Got it! Great feed by Tavion Hollins. And again. 25 seconds to go in the half. Shibwe down low. Missed. Got the rebound. Because, look, that should be four-point lead. Now it's three with Shibwe's right now. There's nobody on the block. Shot clock is off. Ten seconds to go. Here's Williams, five to go. Drive, spins, left hand, no. The rebound to McBride, and we'll go to halftime. A tightly fought first half of play. Who I think is a lottery pick, played only three minutes and 25 seconds. Also, Derek Culver, who is going to lead the country in double doubles, played only 11 and a half minutes. So, Western Kentucky handled that much better than did West Virginia. Those big men are back on the floor, including Oscar Shibwe, who's in the post right now against Bassey. And Culver starts the second half with a jump and cold with Charles Bassey this tournament. Not that effective in the quarterfinals. Dominant yesterday in the semifinals. Hilltoppers in the last three years are three and four against top 25 teams, but when you have Tied with Hollingsworth for game high honors so far. Those two were key players the last time these two teams met two years ago in Myrtle Beach. And we have an and one. This dude is an athlete. You lob a pass like that, one handed, cross your body, this is going to happen on the other end. I love that kid. Yeah. Look at how soft that pass was. Anderson can cover ground. You got to fight from the defense. Now Shibwe relegated to the bench again. Here comes Hollingsworth to Bassey. He's right. Lots his left hand going to the face. I don't know. It was tough to see exactly where he injured it, and we're not Hopper's team in scoring. See, they're daring this jump shot. Culver face-up game. Almost threw it away. 
working against Bassey. Muscle on muscle. Oh, man. Big. West Virginia broke up there. Yeah, this is not a team that could be press Virginia like they were a couple years ago, but they can get up in your jersey. Bassey, a chance at a three-point play. Last year, before the broken leg, he completes the three-point. Left thumb taped up. See, I'm telling you, that's a huge shot Herman right lines here. it up and not. It doesn't have anybody that's comfortable playing in the middle of it. But Sherman said to heck with that, I'm drilling it. Watch Bassey on the roll. Instead, it's Rawls with the layup on the right side. And go one-on-one, -on -one, take it at him. Try to get a fourth quick. Oh, Saboyan against the smaller Rawls drew the foul. Ontario led the team in deflections and charges because they want him. He's a decent looking stroke he, next time he looks to shoot it. Here he is with the ball. Oh, see, he doesn't want to take it. He's going to have to hit it. McBride knocks it down. And you can't. McBride on McKnight. Too open. Here comes Deuce, going downhill, the blow by, and almost a chance at a three-point play. High school for athletics, a lot of... And if you go play for Hugs, guess what? You're going to be coached. Back in the daggone game. Tavion Hollingsworth went out with that thumb injury at the 15:36 mark, so we haven't seen him for four minutes of game time. Yeah. Culver, nice touch, left hand, yeah, he double dip has the rebound. Chance to make it a one possession ball game with a bucket. Here's Osa Boyan. And a foul on the floor. He could be now. Yeah, I didn't like the way they wrapped that thumb. Uh, there's a lot there. I'm anxious to see West Virginia or Western Kentucky offense. Four starters in Frampton on the floor right now for the tops. And Bassey checking back in. Do you go for a steal in the post unless you are 1,000% you're going to get it? Culver lunged, and when you lunge in the post, what happens? Guy dunks it with his head. There's Taz Sherman, a silky smooth jump. We'll keep you updated as soon as we hear anything. There's Miles McBride with two. Don't see good shooters miss left or right. Good shooters miss long, short, or in and out. McNeil, too strong. Bad shot. And you see Hollingsworth, now he hurt his right thumb. And a big three-pointer there for West Virginia. Yeah, I love this kid, Sherman. For coming back out, the coaching staff gave the thumbs up like he's going to be okay. So that's good news for Western Kentucky. This game has been tight throughout. 13 lead changes and seven ties for the Crossover Classic Championship. As he walked off the floor, you couldn't really even tell which leg he was favoring. Don't blame him at all for TV. Well, you need a bucket here if you're West Virginia. You got him reeling right now. You don't want to waste another possession. Here's Osaboyan. He's been good on the offensive end this game. Shibwe, offensive rebound and the putback. Boy, Shibwe, like I said yesterday, just a bit on the post. That's got to go in. Got to. It's what he hands every time. Yeah, it does. I'll tell you what, not a bad shot either. I know normally, look at the run out. Wow. And look at the athleticism of Bassey. I'm telling you, he started sprinting. As boom, he flew. Right down the chute. Right down Main Street. 11 points, six boards for Charles Bassey in relatively limited play in this championship game. Culver. <laughs> Just bowls over Luke Frampton. Talk about a minute. Don't reward the little guy. Big guy just smashed him. Derek Culver only has one rebound, but now he has 15 points. He's going to be on the all tournament team. Williams, YMCA again. Man, he's so crafty. Culver had his arms out. Looked like he had him swarm, but Williams found a way to get it in. Now Carson Williams in double figures with 10 points. Somebody's going to have to hit a three here. It's either it's he's the number one option, and I'm not sure that's that way with Bassey quite yet. They're trying. They've been trying to get high low with with whoever is in the middle. It might end up being Culver in the middle. 
There he is, screen left. McBride, tough shot, no good. Well, he could have given that to Culver. Culver had rolled playing in the middle once again. Hollingsworth fouled by Shibwe. I don't know if there's a coach. I don't know if he was out of coaching then or at Kansas State, but the tape job heard round South Dakota. Tavion Hollingsworth has his thumb taped again, but it's taped the way that Dan Dockich said it. The thought of getting Charles Bassey in their uniform. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it's a process, obviously. You go through a lot of things to get drafted, but when you look at it, there is. Like, no college basketball coaches know about Thanksgiving because you're always with your team, but as soon as I got out of coaching, I'm like, wait, my sister-in-law, Roberta Dockage, made all this food? This is awesome. Under a minute and a half to go. Six-point lead by West Virginia. McBride, Bassey's there, and, and Bassey. Bassey blocks it, but before the block, a tr has to be involved here, either creating for himself to the rim going to his right, or maybe on the same side with Frampton to get an open look. Kenny Cooper, tough shot. Bassey with the tip. Wow. Instead of Hollingsworth, they put how high he gets. Here, there's a court shooter in the corner. Watch this. Man. Like, and they played well without him. Really well, actually. Just a four-point lead, under a minute to go. Mountaineers trying to hang on. Trapped in the corner is McNeil, and a timeout called. That's good. Can McNeil, can somebody for Kentucky, make, or excuse me, for West Virginia, make a big three? That's the difference in winning and losing NCAA tournament games. Bounce pass, Sherman open, blocked by Bassey. The last line of defense coming up again. Charles Bassey with the block. Sherman, no, 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 I'm not going for that. That's why I'm telling you, this kid is smart. He's just not a guy that's gonna jump because somebody gives me a fake. That's his second block this afternoon. Had seven of them in the semifinal win yesterday. I think that's off West Virginia, no, right here? The officials are checking. I think that's off Matthews Jr. right there, no? Looks to me like you are correct, sir. But, so West Virginia has it. Western Kentucky fouls. Big free throw. Got the thing right since I left. I would beg to differ. Thank course. you. 14 for McBride. You can't give up a three here. And if you're Western Kentucky, go downhill. If Frampton gets a three, great, but go to the rim. Bassey for three. And now they got a foul. And Luke Fram and even yesterday to some extent. Uh, you know, but, but you know. And they have experience. You know, I, I think they're a team that, you know, let's be honest, who knows what a Final Four team looks like right now, not named Gonzaga, because that looked like a Final Four team. I, I can't wait to watch the rest of the years of the layup down the, down the court. There's Sherman on the release, and the foul nope. is not called. And now it looks like West Virginia will be able to run it out. Anderson gets it, five seconds to go. This is going to matter for some people. The shot falls off and...